guys we're back again uh, so this is the follow-on video um, we've got the how to download the software and how to upload a base map so if you haven't watched those yet go back and watch those and what we're going to do now is we're going to show you how to update your firmware so what I'd like to do is in this case I do have um, the ET on a bench um, I've got a battery charger on the battery so we know we've got plenty of voltage and it's not going to drop out while we're busy with it so effectively like I said we've got the uh, beta version here now I don't know when you're watching this video but obviously they will be updated as we go along but it's really nice and simple so once you've got the software open this is now showing that the ECU is connected obviously that's important so basically all you're going to do now is you're going to go to file you're going to click upgrade firmware now all the firmware versions are in here right from the very beginning so you scroll right down to the bottom okay and we've got 2.134 so that's the latest version and you can see the date there 29th of June 2021 so you're just going to click on that you're going to hit open and as you can see the software is now going through so again just let it go through the process of updating your firmware uh, again read the instructions as do not turn off your computer or your ECU master ECU so just leave it and let it go through its whole thing so we'll just wait for it to do that now and we've got the issue in the background I don't know if you're gonna hear it's probably gonna beep but let's see what it does So there you go it is literally as simple as that so if you have a look down here in the bottom where it says device firmware version you'll see we're now version 2.134 so if you're ever interested just look down in the bottom there that'll show you exactly uh, what firmware version you're on uh, and like I said this is obviously the the beta version so we're right at the top there if you've got the one you've downloaded from ecumaster.com that I think is 2.133 or some uh, 2.013 I can't remember exact number but yeah so that'll show you what firmware version you're on um, if you start updating and obviously you come into issues you can report if you're using the beta version obviously you can report directly to ECU master uh, they can look into the issue and rectify it and that's when they'll have more updates coming out once they figure out what the issue is um, so you can always roll back the firmware version to the one previous if the one previously worked and you update to a new one again so you can just roll that back and go from there uh, my advice always is if you do update the firmware do go through the whole ECU make sure all your inputs and outputs are set up correctly make sure everything is 100 percent before you just go in and go to fire up the engine as soon as you've done this all right so that's how you update the firmware uh, i would advise check every few months see what it is they are adding new features every time so update the firmware and you might have a feature that you've been looking for or waiting for all right but that's basically it nice and simple uh, so we'll crack on with the rest of the videos and uh, we'll speak to you soon bye bye